NANI? Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about all Digimon games for the GBA. Digimon Battle Spirit 1 and 2 are pretty similar to each other in gameplay, similar enough to be able to talk in general about the two games. Digimon Battle Spirit is a fighting game, where the battle consists of a collectathon. You have to collect orbs, and you can collect orbs from beating up your opponent. Each hit makes the opponent lose orbs, and at the end, the player who has the most orbs wins. You get 12 characters and you get around 8 battle stages. Also by touching a flying Digimon called Kalumon, a character can get into its ultimate form, where it has more powerful attacks. You get some boss battles to in the game, overall the game is pretty good. It has a unique fighting style and creative and detailed level designs, and the detail I liked in both games is that the characters behave differently. You can feel and see that some Digimon are better in long range attacks, or others are better in short range attacks, or that they move faster or slower. And having this kind of depth makes the game way better. And as differences between the two is the story. You get a different story in each game, and the cast is a little bit different. If the first one had 12 characters, the second one has only 8 playable characters, but at least this game has 10 battle stages. Anyway, if you're a Digimon fan or not, I still recommend you the two games. I like them. They have depth in gameplay, they have many detailed environments, and even if they don't really have that many game modes, actually all you do is battle, they are still fun to play. Digimon Racing seems similar to all card games on the GBA. You select from a cast of characters and go in the similar mode 7 technique fashion and use a reskinned version of Mario Kart weapons. Weapons were reskinned or have the same principle, but they are very unbalanced and feel very unfair. In Rust you get 3 gameplay modes, Grand Prix, Cup mode and Time Trial, you get 11 playable characters and somewhere around 12 tracks. And even if the game gives you the impression of being a stereotypical kart racer at first, it has some quirks that makes it stand out. First, you get boss battles. In a karting game, you get 3 boss battles. And another quirk that makes it unique is the Digivolve Gouache. You can use the Gouache to Digivolve and have better stats, that way you can go slightly faster for example. You fill up the Gouache by driving on the black panels. And this gives a little more strategy to the racing and makes the game unique. Overall, even if the game seems like a stereotypical kart racer at first, it has some unique quirks that makes it stand out. And it's actually a pretty good game, like card games usually are. It has some flaws, it's true, but it still is fun nonetheless. And as a conclusion, I recommend you all Digimon games on the GBA. They are awesome, even if they seem stereotypical and generic at first, just try them out. You'll see that they are unique games and can provide hours of fun. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, and if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!